Welcome back to Med Survival, your ultimate channel for medical mnemonics. I am so excited because today we're tackling a super important topic, antibiotics against gram-negative organisms. We'll go from narrow spectrum to broader spectrum antibiotics, breaking it all down step by step. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, let's get started. The first antibiotic we need to know for gram-negative organisms is ceftriaxone. This trusty drug not only tackles gram-negative bacteria, but also has activity against some gram-positive organisms. Now, what if we need to add pseudomonal coverage? Well, remember these three antibiotics. One, astrianam. Two, cifepime. Three, ciprofloxacin. Let's break these down. Astrionam. Purely a gram-negative drug, no activity against gram-positives or atypicals. Cifepime covers gram-positive bacteria, but no atypical coverage. Ciprofloxacin primarily targets gram-negative bacteria and atypicals, but has limited activity against gram-positive organisms compared to other fluoroquinolones like levofloxacin. Easy, right? Now, let's say you need to tackle anaerobes too. Your go-to drug is piperacillin tazobactam also known as Zosin. It's a fantastic option for mixed infections. Dealing with ESBL-producing bacteria. Next up, what about ESBL-producing bacteria? These are tough bugs, but we've got two carbapenems to save the day. Meropenem, stronger against gram-negatives. Imepenem, works better against gram-positives, including Enterococcus faecalis. And here's a fun fact. Take away the pseudomonal coverage from these two carbapenems, and you get ertapenem. Not bad, right? Tackling the nastiest bugs. Now it's time for the big guns, those antibiotics reserved for multidrug resistant bacteria. One, MDR pseudomonas. Let's start with MDR pseudomonas, a bacteria resistant to carbapenem drugs and beta lactamases. The treatment option is the combination tazobactam plus ceftolozane, also known as Zerbaxa. While Zerboxa does provide some coverage against anaerobes, it is not the primary choice for anaerobic infections. 2. CRE, carbapenem-resistant enterobacteria. CRE is divided into two subtypes, KPC-producing bacteria, Klebsiella pneumoniae carbapenemase, MBL-producing bacteria, metallo-beta-lactamases. For KPC-producing bacteria, the treatment options are Avicaz, Avibactam plus Ceftazidime. It has a third-generation cephalosporin, but no anaerobic coverage. Vabomir, Vaborbactam plus Meropenem. Unlike Avicaz, it doesn't cover MDR Pseudomonas. For MBL-producing bacteria, which are resistant to almost everything else, the treatment options include Cephidericol, a Siderophore cephalosporin, a combination of Avicaz plus Astrianam. Remember, neither of these covers anaerobes. Cah, quick recap. Let's summarize this quickly with a table of key points. 1. Gram-negative coverage only. Ceftriaxone. 2. Add pseudomonal coverage. Astrionam, cefepime, or ciprofloxacin. 3. Add anaerobic coverage. Zosin 4. Add ESBL coverage. Meropenem or imipenem. Now for the nasty bugs. 5. MDR pseudomonas. Tazobactam ceftolozane. 6. CRE, KPC producing. Avivicaz or Vabomir. 7. CRE, MBL producing. Cefidericol or Avicaz plus Astrionam. Got all that? Great. And that's it for today. Preparing this video helped me learn a lot because as we all know, teaching is the best way of learning. I hope you learned something new too. And if not, well, grab a coffee and watch it again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious, stay sharp, and keep surviving med school.